Well, if you wanted a grand finale, you know how fireworks have grand finales and they save all the big explosions for the end. If you wanted a grand finale to what has been a absolute crazy and probably the craziest sports week, week and a half, whatever you want to call it, however you want to shape the timeline. If you wanted a grand finale, this was it. What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Dylan Matthews, back at it again with another hometown take. And you already know what we're here to talk about. Whoo, man. Hasn't been crazy enough. I don't see how I can get any crazier. Matt Ryan, yes, Matt Ryan, that Matt Ryan. Number two, who used to be number two for the Atlanta Falcons and used to be our franchise quarterback and our starting quarterback has been traded to the Indianapolis Colts for a 2022 third round pick. Yes, indeed. And honestly, we're gonna break it all down here in a second. I'm glad it happened and this was going to happen. I mean, it, it just seemed kind of like, we gonna get all into it. Make sure you like this video. Comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. Check out the first link in my description box to buy me a coffee. They'll fuel this channel, help fuel the Atlanta Falcons to get their ish together, which I think they finally will. I think they might be finally coming around. All right, let's talk about it, y'all. Matt Ryan has been traded to the Indianapolis Colts for a 2022 third round pick. This is crazy. Right now, really, I've been shocked. I am in shock. Well, not shocked, actually. It's just, it's crazy crazy when something finally hits you something finally happens you know you, you just it doesn't sink in for a second i don't think it quite has sunk in yet but it's it's just wild so obviously the atlanta falcons were heavily going after deshaun watson and they whiffed on deshaun watson you know they asked matt ryan to move his roster bonus back till monday give him the weekend and matt ryan out of good faith and just being a good person he did it and Falcons obviously did not get Deshaun Watson. He went to the Cleveland Browns to secure that bag and Cleveland secured a whole bunch of draft picks. So the Browns came with the best offer, which, you know, if you're the Atlanta Falcons, I don't know how in the world you get so deep or get in too deep or how you, I don't see how you get in all the way in that deep if you're the Atlanta Falcons and you don't get Deshaun Watson when he wanted you initially. He wanted to come there. Y'all weren't in the sweepstakes at first until Deshaun Watson probably called Arthur Blank and said, hey, Arthur, what's up, Unc? Hey, yo, you know, the Falcons won't be too bad. What y'all talking about? So then, you know, we get all in too deep. Seems like Deshaun Watson being in the Atlanta Falcons uniform is imminent. I was ready to get my Deshaun Watson red and black gradient Falcons jersey, but the Browns came in with that better offer because the Falcons let it go to the weekend. And here we are. So now you have no Deshaun Watson, but you, everybody and their mama knew you were trying to get Deshaun Watson and you were ready to trade Matt Ryan. So Matt Ryan's like, I pushed my roster money back for you. You know, I, I, I tried to help y'all get a different quarterback. Y'all still messing up? Man, I'm done. Bye. Trade me. Let me go. It's it's all goody. So, and now Matt Ryan's traded to the Indianapolis Colts for a third round pick. Now, as far as the compensation goes, you weren't going to get a first from Matt Ryan. And, you know, obviously the whole Deshaun Watson situation did not help your leverage at all because it was obvious at that point you were wanting to trade Matt Ryan and looking to replace him and go younger. And you, you, you failed at that. You failed to get into Sean Watson, so you, all your leverage went out the window. You had no leverage, so getting a third round pick back from him is what it is. But first and foremost, let me say thank you to Matt Ryan. I was not one of the people who had on Matt Ryan his play and all that stuff. He was the most important player to this franchise, came in in 2008 and turned the franchise around and you know got us to our, got us to our second Super Bowl, got us an NFC championship, got us the two NFC championships. We didn't win that first one, obviously, against San Francisco, but got us an NFC championship against um, when we played the Green Bay Packers and dusted them. So he has been the most important player of this franchise. Pretty sure the most winningest quarterback in this franchise. So no, nothing but respect to Matt Ryan. Honestly, I would love for the Colts to win a Super Bowl now. And I told y'all, I told, we, we did the tough call some more than I did. I said Matt Ryan on the Colts could win a Super Bowl. We're going to test that theory out now and see what's happening. Because, I mean, Jonathan Taylor, that defense, he actually has an old line now. Y'all going to see what's popping. Y'all going to see what's popping with Matt. And I'm happy for him. And like I said, I hope, I hope Matt Ryan gets a Super Bowl ring because he deserves it, honestly. Just been the ultimate professional in Atlanta. Never any 
drama with him, nothing. Just been the ultimate professional, has restructured his contract a whole bunch of times, and you know, he's 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 been perfect in Atlanta. I, I have no bad words, no ill will towards Matt Ryan, so go Colts, in my opinion. But now, on to the Falcons, man. What are we gonna do now? That's the question. What are the Atlanta Falcons going to do? Well, I say we just tank next year, y'all. I just say we throw in a towel for next year. There have been reports that we, you know, are possibly pursuing Marcus Mariota to be our starting quarterback. Yeah, he might be too good. You know, I want the Falcons to go ahead and tank our schedule as hard as dog crap next year. Our schedule is super tough. We got to play the Rams. We got to play the entire NFC West, first of all. Um, we have Tampa Bay with Brady back now. Saints will probably bring back Jameis Winston, so they'll be solid, especially with their defense. Um, we got to play the Cle Deshaun Watson and the Cleveland Browns. We got to play the Colts. We got to play, I mean, not the Colts. Do we actually play the Colts? We actually might play the Colts. I can't remember. Um, anyway, we play the Browns. We play the Chargers. We, uh, we have a tough, tough schedule. Let's just tank next year, get the number one overall pick. Then we'll have our pick of Bryce Young. We'll have our pick of CJ Stroud. We'll have... I think next year will be a much better quarterback class than this year. Sure, we can get Malik Willis this year, all that good stuff. Let's just get either an edge rusher if an edge rusher is there, a get a corner if a corner is there, a somebody on our defense to help us out defensively, and you know just 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 be bad next year. Let our young guys, Richie Grant, get some playing time. Let's just develop. Because I think one of the flaws, and you know, I was in favor of getting Justin Fields a couple of years back. And I think one of the flaws of Arthur Blank is he wants this team to be competitive every year so bad, is that he was kind of handicapping our future because, you know, Matt Ryan was obviously the quarterback and, you know, that's fine. He was, he's still good. Matt Ryan is still a good quarterback. That's not the point. The point is we needed a plan in place. And, you know, I know you can't always have the plan in place and you're trying to win now and I get that, but still, quarterback is the most important position in the National Football League and we didn't have a succession plan to Matt Ryan. And then you can say there is no succession plan on that stuff, but still, you know, we had an opportunity to get Justin Fields, let him develop for a couple of years under Matt Ryan and we didn't do that. So now we're here with no quarterback and we're in a frenzy. So that's where we are. And, you know, this just has to happen. It's time to do a full reboot, reset, be, we're going to be bad next year. Let's just be bad. Embrace being bad. Get our, hopefully, our next franchise quarterback in next year's draft and go from there. So I think that's the plan for, for, for the Falcons, y'all. But this is my instant reaction to Matt Ryan getting traded. Like I said, I don't think we draft a quarterback this year. I get Malik Willis. I get all that. But I think they're going to be more polished and also mobile quarterbacks who are more, poli more polished in next year's draft. So just be bad this year. Just be bad. It's okay. We'll be bad. We've been bad for you know, years now. We can be one more season of being bad. I think hopefully the fan base is going to come around a little bit more now. They see that and they know, okay, we're on the path forward now. We're at the lowest of the low right now. We're at the lowest of... This is rock bottom, Falcons fans. This is rock bottom now. No quarterback, no Deshaun Watson when we thought we were going to get him. This is the lowest of the low. This is rock bottom. This is rock bottom. So let's just be bad next year. Embrace being bad. Get the quarterback in next year's draft and do what it do, and then rebuild from there. Because this is officially a rebuild. Officially, official, official. Matt Ryan's gone, it's a rebuild, period. Point blank, period. But let me know how y'all feel in the comments down below. Make sure y'all like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, check out the link above to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Atlanta Falcons to a great job, because Lord knows we need it now with no Matt Ryan. So again, thank you, Matt. Shout out to Matt Ryan, ultimate professional. You know, never did anything in wrong in Atlanta. No drama, no ill will. I'm rooting for him a thousand percent. And I, like I said, I'll win, I'll win the Colts win the Super Bowl. Not only because I said, you know, Matt Ryan could win the, uh, win the Super Bowl with the Colts. You know, he's on the Colts and their team. We get to test out that theory now. But also just because he deserves it, honestly. And that's my wholehearted opinion. That's from the bottom of my heart. But, man, Atlanta fans, let's just, let me just talk to the whole Atlanta sports fan community. We lost Freddie Freeman and Matt Ryan in the same guy in the same two week week and a half span, y'all. <laughs> this has just been a crazy, crazy sports week. We trade for Matt Olson. Freddie Freeman goes to the freaking Dodgers. Oh, Matt Ryan's trading now. He's going to the Colts. This is Brock Cordell Patterson back. So there you go. 
we go see man but hey y'all again like this video comment your thoughts subscribe to the channel check out the first link in my description box to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel like i said help fuel the atlanta falcons to a great draft because lord we need it. and again say it one more time no quarterback next uh this year in this draft build your defense you know get some good young studs be bad next year get the quarterback next year get bryce young cj stroud somebody like that next year so that's my opinion. Let me know y'all's in the comments down below. Till I talk y'all next time, stay strong, y'all. We gonna be okay. You know, things get worse before they get better. And things are worse right now. This might be rock bottom right now. Matt Ryan's gone. Our team is in shambles, Falcons fans. But we gonna be all right. The rebuild is all the way on. And you can rebuild pretty quick in the, in, in the NFL, as long as you do it right, as long as you draft the right players. So that's the key now. We got to draft right. And for me, that's not getting a quarterback in this year's draft, getting a quarterback in next year's draft. Terry Pont, I will say this, though. Terry Fontenot was at Kenny Pickett's um, pro day today. So be it as you will. He probably went to all of them, though. I'm sure he's going to go to Malik Willis's, and Malik didn't already have his. But anyway, y'all, again, like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, check out the link above to buy me a coffee. Until I talk to y'all next time, stay strong, Falcons fans. Stay true to Atlanta. Believe in Atlanta. Go Falcons. Peace.